Cooling for 24-7 comfort on call. Well, hello, Brad. Uh, <laughs> parents of young kids probably have these in little aquariums all over the place. The hermit. We did. The hermit <laughs> crab. Yeah. Yes. You know, the funny thing about hermit crabs is that unlike other crustaceans, like even lobsters, their exoskeletons are very hard, very protective. Okay. But this particular crustacean, the hermit crab, has a very soft exoskeleton. And that's why they seek a out... A soft shell crab, if you will. Yes. That's why they seek out an armor, a plate okay. of armor by seeking refuge inside these abandoned or sure. vacant shells. Okay, so that's sort of the story about them. I have some other fun facts about them as well. They're very popular pets. I don't know. That's, that's fine. They can be pets. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, not, yeah. not, not going there, Chris. All right. There's 800 species divided into two groups, aquatic hermit crabs and land hermit crabs, which okay. are the, the pets. The ones okay. that wind up on a dresser. Yep. It, <laughs> yes. The competition can become <laughs> fierce between hermit crabs for shells. And part of the problem is, is that crab grows, they require larger shells, so they're constantly in search of their next- Upscale. Correct, yeah. correct. And they actually hollow out the shell, making it lighter. They use both chemicals from their bodies and they physically carve out interiors, okay? okay? So that's kind of interesting. A little home improvement, sure. It's funny you say home improvement, oh. because that's what today's story- We didn't rehearse this. Is all about, no, <laughs> rarely do we. On tropical coasts, hermit crabs are now making their homes in plastic waste. Okay, are you ready for some pictures? I'll show you some pictures. That and I have to be honest, like my, when I started looking at these pictures at first, I was slightly amused and then I was horrified. Okay. Okay, so here's one of the first pictures. You can see that this little guy is actually, a, that looks like the top of a laundry detergent, liquid oh, laundry detergent. Oh yeah, okay, um, sure. So he's living in there. Um, here's another one, that's the end of a light bulb. That's right. really sad. Uh, and here's one more. And look at this one. This is the twist off cap of a glass bottle well, of which a portion. Still glass. Yes, yes, yes. But that's what these animals are doing with a lot of this waste. So it, of course, asks the question why. Right. Okay. And they can only theorize. There may be some attractiveness of artificial materials that might appeal to mates. That might be part of the reason why they're doing it. Colorful cap. Sure. I look better than you, right? right? Okay, lighter artificial shell weights might benefit hermit crabs' energy expenditure. Okay. Okay. An odor cue of dimethyl sulfide found in both natural shells and marine waste, all of that plastic and everything also gets algae on it. Sure. And that algae creates the dimethyl sulfide, so they're smelling, it's like, hey, this smells good to me. It <laughs> smells like everything else. So that might be part of it. The possibility that artificial shells may serve more efficiently as camouflage in polluted areas, given that shell selection is often made to blend in with the localized environment, which is another sad statement right. about the if plastic you're, pollution. If you're better camouflaged in garbage, yeah, that's not good. One final thought, the researchers say, while this new behavior might be considered a clever adaptation, what this habit ultimately means for the evolution of hermit crabs remains to be seen and studied, but it is what it is, but it is, it's interesting, but it sad is, at the same it's time. too much garbage, yes sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brad, thanks so much. Well, we